Good afternoon, and welcome back to the United Kennel Club virtual premiere. I'm Stan, and with me is Nicole, and we are here just having a ball. <laughs> all right, so we had all of our eight groups, and now is the time that we've all been waiting for Total Dog Best in Show. But before we get started, let's thank our judges. Today we had Kevin Izzard Carroll and Tracy Doty and our secret judge <laughs> for best in show is Miss Nina Marie Cher from Colorado. Yes, so before we watch, um, we're gonna be seeing all of these dogs that sent in their performance video. So all the dogs that you saw today, they had to send in a confirmation and a performance video. We're gonna to get to see those performance videos before we find out who the Total Dog Best in Show winner is. We'd also like to thank Yukonuba, our performance dog nutrition partner, for providing us an amazing prize package for all of our winners. The Best in Show winner will be receiving an Orca cooler, and our reserve Best in Show winner will be receiving a pink dog cot, as well as a Yukonuba tumbler. We'd also like to thank our UKC family those people who sent in all those videos showing their dogs in confirmation and performance. Yeah, when we, when we had to cancel Premiere, the, our in-person event, we weren't sure if, ever, if people were going to be willing to send us videos of and their dogs. And look at all the videos we received. It's truly amazing and thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for participating and being a part of this community. So, let's get started. Best in show. Nicole, tell us, what's it take to get to this level? So Total Dog is UKC's event where we celebrate the dogs that do more. So not only do they have to win in confirmation, they also have to be skilled in a performance event, such as obedience, rally, agility, nose work. And it's always been a big thing with UKC. And we've never had an event solely dedicated to the total dog. So it's not always about beauty. It's beauty and brains here. It's structure, temperament, function. Those Form are the, follows function. Those are, those are the, three, uh, the three pillars of the total dog for UKC. But I'm really excited to announce to you and to all of those watching at home that we are going to be offering a total dog invitational in fall of 2021. Dogs can compete from like end of this year through July of next year, 2021, for a total dog at some of our regional qualifying events. All of our classics will be considered a regional qualifying event, as well as some of our larger local shows. Dogs that qualify will get an invitation to Total Dog Invitational, where they will compete in a two-day competition for an overall prize of $10,000. That's fabulous. <laughs> so the way it's gonna work, it's all gonna be outlined on the UKC website at www.ukcdogs.com. Go check it out. If you have a club that wants to become a regional qualifier, the application is up there on the website. So make sure to send those in. And without further ado, I think it's time for our Total Dog Best in Show. And let's get started. We have judging our Total Dog Best in Show is the none other than Miss Nina Marie Scherer from Colorado. Yes. She's had eight great dogs to view, as did all you. So let's see what her selection is going to be. She's gonna select two dogs out of the eight dogs. Mm -hmm. Her first selection will be a reserve best in show, and the second will be best in show total dog. All right, the winner of our guardian group is the Appenzeller, Hector. Hector Blazehund, US ADL of Nanaimo, British Columbia. Beautiful dog. 
breed that you don't see very often. No. So all of our group win one winners competing now for Total Dog Best in Show. And wait till they see what they get. Oh, yes. So now this is Hector's performance event. He competed in Rally Obedience. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Rally Obedience, they, the owner has go, is taking her dog through this course, and the course has the signs that have different... Um, instructions. Different instructions, different commands that the dog has, you and your dog have to perform. And they're, they're not the same each? No, like that one was a, a down. And this was, oh, so that was a left turn. So that was an about turn. I don't perfect. do it, so I really don't. <laughs> I'm really bad with my left and right. <laughs> All right, the winner of the Scent Hound group, we had Rebel, Walnut Ridge Rebel Yell from Georgetown, Ohio. Rebel is a mountain cur. Curs being those squirrel dogs, they tree. Beautiful dog, beautiful representation of its breed. Howdy, dears. Good boy. Look at that expression. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you just stood there so long. Right. So. <laughs> and obviously the owner is walking around taking a picture. No, what have you said? See, he's a he's a tree. That's what you were saying. We're right. Treeing. Right. He goes to the tree, he stays there. He barks until the owner says, oh, I found you. This is where the... Look at the and look at how high that dog yep. goes up that tree. And they stay there until until their handler comes, gets to the tree. Right. Look at the intensity of mm -hmm. that dog. This dog is doing what it's bred to do and also has the confirmation that the breed standard calls for. Our sighthound winner was Carney the Whippet. Do you remember there were a few whippets entered in the sighthound group? Carney, I remember from that super dark pigment. Yes. Remember, she has this like black lips, black nose, really pretty eyes against the white head. Carney's also participating in rally obedience. It's a really popular sport for Toll Dog. It's an introduction into a lot of obedience, other obedience events, because the dog has to pay attention. They have to know your body language and keep up with you. I just find it difficult to read a sign and have to do the sign says, oh and then gosh. control your dog. And, and I mean, it's hard like enough to do it yourself. Spin in circles and not fall over. <laughs> Our gun dog group winner was this English Springer Spaniel, Dottie. Emerald Isles Ridgewind Dot with Da. That characteristic Springer head, long ears. <laughs> I love their lips too, <laughs> Springer lips. <laughs> and this is a video of Dottie and her owner participating in obedience. This is something that we were saying when we were talking about virtual premiere, is that if you have videos of your dogs from past trials, just use those and send them in. It's hard to get, you know, like agility equipment or right. weight pull equipment. Right. People don't have those at their house. So let's get those in and use, use what you have. Our Northern group winner was that beautiful Kai. From Washington. We talked about it, you know, red brindling, its head. Sickle it's, tail. 
sickle tail, small tight eyes. Triangular shape, small ear. Looks like a dog that could, you know, make it through some work, work, cold, work. cold yes. temperatures, right? And here is, here is this dog, also competing in rally. Like I said, not everybody has equipment. This owner made the best of it. She has solo cups that she taped the, ra the rally signs yes. too. All the rally signs for UKC, they are available in PDFs on the UKC website. So if you wanted to practice this, you could do it at home as well. And they're really showing that you know, practice doesn't just have to be at the training center, right? In a professional atmosphere. Right. Okay, our herding group winner is River, Tasso's Crimea River, owned by Bethany Sanders out in Tracy, California. Lots of Catahoulas in total dog today. <laughs> See that one, one like blue eye, one is like half. Nice. Set her up. Make sure her back is not cow hockey. <laughs> she is watching the camera. <laughs> Here's River participating in our newest sport, precision coursing. You can see just recognized precision coursing um, very recently. Cool to see a video of that. Our terrier winner is a German pincer, Bibby. Artitore's Bibby doll in St. Helens, Oregon. Beautiful, deep red coat. Has the swagger that you expect of a terrier. And here it is doing lure coursing. Just chasing. <laughs> chasing that lure. Our companion group winner was Journey, the Dalmatian. Diamond C is still believing. Owned by Andrea. Like you said, um, the dots, like your spots, spots, you want them to be well spaced out, well and distributed. distinct, and mm -hmm. distinct. You don't want them watered out or diluted out. Nice muscling and conditioning of the stone. See, Andrea did something similar with building her own rally course. And she just used little cones with and she doesn't have the holders, but she she knew to print out the signs, yeah. place them in her yard, and just practice with her dog. Before we announce our winners, we'd like to take this time to thank our performance partner, Yukonula. Sporting dogs give us everything we ask and then some. Their nutrition should do the same. When we return, we will reveal Best in Show.
here we go. What we've been waiting for, our best in show. Yeah, let's check in and see who Nina selected for her total dog, best in show and reserve best in show winners. I was very pleased that all eight groups were represented. What a great job the exhibitors did filming their dogs. All eight dogs were immediately recognizable as their breed with many positive attributes. This made my choice much, much more difficult. What an honor and a privilege to have been asked to judge these dogs. I thank UKC for giving us this virtual dog show opportunity. And I thank every exhibitor for entering. Although you may have saved money on gas, motel, travel expenses, food and entries, your job was made much harder by filming your dogs. Thank you. So now on to who I chose. My pick for best in show is number 509, the Kai. This dog appears sturdily built with the required brindle pattern, coat pattern and color. The ears are strongly erect, large and inclined slightly forward. There is a correct scissors bite and the neck is moderate length, thick and appears muscular. The back is level and the legs show good bone with a wide thigh. The lowest point of the chest is directly behind the elbow where it should be. Movement is essential to this breed and this dog tracked well on the down and back and around with strides of moderate length and a quick agile trot. My pick for reserve best in show is number 418, the English Springer Spaniel. This spaniel shows Springer essence with long ears and soft expression and overall outline. The muzzle and skull are the same length with correct set on of ears, correct slightly sloping top line and correct set on of tail. The Springer tracks well on the down and back movement. Thank you all again for participating. I enjoyed judging your dogs. Congratulations to our winners. English Springer Spaniel won Reserve Best in Show. That was Dottie, owned by Shireen of Washington State. And our winner, Best in Show Total Dog, was the Kai, number 508. Nine, owned by Train Rose, and the dog's name is Carisu. Yes, congratulations to Carisu and to Dottie for your wins. Congratulations to all the dogs for the wins today. It was such a pleasure getting to see all of your videos and seeing all of you participate in this virtual experience. On behalf of UKC, I would love to thank you, Stan, for being our My host pleasure. today. It's been so much fun being with you, being with all of you, and seeing such wonderful dogs. A lot of time and effort has been put into this, and as you can see by most of the videos, they've had a lot of fun. And this is what dogs, dog shows are all about, having fun with your dog. And as we wrap up, we're gonna watch some of the videos that you didn't get to see from our exhibitors.
good boy. That concludes our virtual premiere Total Dog Challenge, but our virtual premiere platform is not over yet. There are still plenty of sessions happening in the sessions page on the platform. You can also go to the expo booths and check out Yukonuba's booth, say hi to them and enter yourself into their raffle prize for an orca cooler. Thank you guys again for attending and can't wait to see you at our next event.